Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. In this video, we're checking out the all new Rode NT1 fifth generation condenser microphone. Those of you who have followed my channel, you know that I have utilized the previous generation NT1 condenser in a lot of my videos and a number of different recording projects throughout the five or six years that I've had it. And uh, there are some key differences now between this new fifth generation and that microphone. Find me on the scene, no A team. Out here feeling like I just turned 18. Spirit got us turned up another level. And I'm not talking about the champagne and shiny bezels. Before we get into it, I just want to say this is not a sponsored video. I did purchase this mic from zounds.com. I'm going to put a link in the description. And if you do decide to pick up your Rode NT1 fifth generation using that link, it does directly support the channel. Appreciate you all. Let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so let's first talk about the key difference between this new NT1 and the previous generation, which is gonna be the connectivity. You now have the choice to either hook this up through XLR, which is what you're hearing right now, or if you don't have access to an audio interface or your own preamp, you can just hook it up directly through USB to your laptop. So if you wanna just throw this in your bag and you wanna just hook this up directly without your audio interface, you can do that. Both of those ports are located right here where you would normally connect your XLR cable. Now, as far as the sound itself with XLR, it does sound virtually identical to the previous generation. They share the same HF6 capsule. It has that really thick and warm low end but then it has an accentuated brightness in the top end that's going to add a lot of detail. Once we hook it up with USB, the sonic differences for the fifth generation start to really show itself. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll dive into the DSP effects. All right, so now that we're connected through USB, some of you are gonna notice that it does sound quite different. And that is essentially just because now we're not going through my preamp or my audio interface, which depending on your preamp, that can certainly color your sound a little bit, which is the case for any microphone uh, that utilizes a preamp. But now we're just going straight in through USB. So this is just our digital signal, untouched, uncolored. Now the interesting thing about this is utilizing the Rode Central app, which you can get from Rode.com, we can now do some onboard processing or some DSP with the mic live. And so we can do this processing before we even hit the DAW. So if I click on audio setup, you're gonna see that we can adjust the microphone gain here with that control, and then you're gonna have your processing section. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the processing on. Nothing is active right now, but you'll see that we have some different effects. So if I click this, we have a compressor. Now, those of you who have watched my channel know that I have the Aphex channel strip hardware. Rode acquired Aphex Technologies, and so they have uh, utilized a lot of their signal processing here in this app, like the compressor and some of these other ones that we're gonna look at. But if we turn on the compressor, you know, then we can adjust uh, the threshold. And let's say we wanted to do, you know, like a four and a half to one, something like that. Then we're gonna get some nice compression, do some makeup gain. Let's go over to the noise gate. We'll turn that on and then you'll hear that if I turn the range all the way down, when I get quiet, everything in the background is suppressed. So if you had issues with noise or you're doing something like a podcast, that's going to be really useful for you. Now going over to the high pass filter, we can go ahead and turn that on. We can filter out uh, everything below 150 hertz. Or if we wanted to do something a little less obtrusive in the lows, we could do 75 hertz. So I'll leave that on. Now we have the exciter section, which is the big bottom, the oral exciter, also borrowed from the Aphex channel. And if we turn this on, we can tune that big bottom. I usually like to go more towards like 200. And then we'll just add a little bit of that just to get some nice low end added here. And then if we turn on the oral exciter, we can add harmonics. So I'm gonna tune this to about two and a half K and then you can uh, dial this in. And you're gonna get a nice kind of exciting signal, but you can hear there that you can get really carried away with this very quickly, which is true of any of the hardware oral exciters. It's just a, an effect that you wanna use very lightly. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, you wanna be really careful when you're kind of caking this stuff on uh, pre-processing, but it is useful to have this stuff. Now, once you've done that, 
everything is kind of applied to your signal and you're going to be able to just jump into your DAW. As long as you uh, set your NT1 fifth generation as your input device, then you can monitor here and then you can go and record straight in. Now that we have some of that stuff dialed in here on the DSP, I wanted to just record a uh, quick little rap verse with the USB uh, connection. I know a lot of you out there are going to be utilizing it this way. Uh, then I'll throw a quick vocal chain just so that you can hear, you know, dry signal versus what it's going to sound like after you do, you know, kind of a proper mix or a more proper mix to it. Yeah. Road NT1, fifth generation. This is take one. <clears throat> Find me on the scene, no A-team Out here feeling like I just turned 18 Spirit got us turned up another level And I'm not talking about the champagne and shiny bezels No designer jeans, but you know my night's clean All these nice things could be so enticing Even once you get it all, the sky fall The Lord reminds you that the world never binds you What's it mean to be free? Finding the truth in impossible dreams Never put faith in what will rot away Say what you mean and don't care what they say uh, God is with you at your best and even at your lowest Even if you were the slowest and you're steady losing focus He gon' find you Facts, Acts 2, Blood Moon in these final hours The power to save us, gracious all right, so we got that recorded. I just put a maximizer just to keep it from clipping. A little bit of pitch correction, and then I'm using one of the uh, the presets from Vocal Chains SR that's specifically designed for the NT1. Let's hear what that sounds like. Fifth generation, this is take one. <clears throat> Find me on the scene, no A-team Out here feeling like I just turned 18 Spirit got us turned up another level And I'm not talking about the champagne and shiny bezels No designer jeans, but you know my night's clean All these nice things could be so enticing Even once you get it all, the sky fall The Lord reminds you that the world never binds you What's it mean to be free? You know, I have to note that I really wish that Rode would have integrated more of the Apex signal processing into this Rode Central app. You know, they obviously own all of Apex's signal processing. So something like the DSer from the Apex channel would be especially helpful. Uh, one thing that I've noticed with the NT1 as well as some of my other Rode mics is that the top end, even though it does have that nice detailed air to it, it can start to get harsh. And even right now you can hear that my vocals is a little bit sibilant. Maybe in the future they'll add that de as well as a dedicated EQ section. I see a lot of capability here. You know, I think you need to have the right expectations about what you're gonna get out of those effects. It's not gonna be be a super polished mix sound, but I don't think Rode intended it to be anything other than a utilitarian uh, thing, especially with the compressor. That's going to be very useful just to have compression during the tracking process. Now, the other thing that Rode mentions is that this is an unclippable microphone. It says no chance of distortion or clipping from a whisper to an explosion. I want to talk about that a little bit because that is specifically related to setting this in a 32-bit floating point recording environment. But to get that feature to actually work, so if you get really loud and you don't want to have to worry about potentially clipping, you need to first go ahead and just make sure that you have this set up as a 32-bit floating point recording microphone in your settings. So we need to go in here, in my case, to the Rode NT1 fifth generation, and you would set this to 32-bit float. Right now I'm on 24-bit because Logic Pro actually does not record at anything higher than that. So that's the other key point of this. If your DAW does support 32-bit float recording, you would just change this setting right here in your audio devices menu. Make sure that the NT1 fifth generation is operating at 32-bit, and then you'll set your recording settings in your DAW in the real world. And if you are a Logic Pro user, that is not necessarily going to be a, a deal breaker for you because 24-bit recording over USB, you've got a tremendous amount of headroom anyway. So if you're familiar at all with audio signal processing and setting up a preamp, you're not going to have any issues with clipping or distorting this microphone unless you're just being really, really reckless with the level over here on your microphone gain. 
for this price point, you're gonna have a really hard time finding something that competes. And the NT1 is not uh, the best sounding mic I've ever used, but it sounds a lot better than that price would lead you to believe that it would. If you don't already own an NT1 and you're gonna buy one, you definitely wanna get the fifth generation to have the flexibility. Maybe you have some questions or are on the fence about it, feel free to leave a comment below. If you found this review helpful, please like, subscribe, and consider sharing. And we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.